Well, I think you can probably see why this engine caught my attention. I spotted this one on eBay and uh, I thought, oh, oh, I do like this, the, the style of model steam engines. This obviously is a scratch built version of um, a hero engine or a file. It's one of the earliest documented steam engines, I think around about first century AD, they documented this. So that design is very old indeed. Uh, but no, I just like the idea of this. I mean, quite often with uh, these Hero engines, the water is actually contained in the part that spins. Uh, I have a small uh, Chinese made uh, model of one of these and I'll, I'll bring it in and you can have a look at it. Well, I have in fact got two Chinese versions of the Hero engine. And um, this one is the more uh, common sort of type and the water is in here and is boiled and um, the steam comes out of these vents. This is the same sort of thing although the vents you can't really see them they are in the uh, uh, on the edges of the saucer and they vent um, this way and it spins like that but, but again the water is inside the spinning part and that's where the steam is created which is quite common for these type of engines but this one this new one is a little bit different. Now obviously this has its own boiler and steam, I would assume, comes up these pipes and into the drum, um, which then spins. Uh, it's not particularly free at the moment, but um, I, I need to have a look at that and maybe make some adjustments, oil it up and the rest of it. Um, I want to try and run it on compressed air before I actually uh, run it on steam. And uh, this fill plug here, I've had that out and that's... Uh, <laughs> of course it would be one I, I don't have a dyno up for which is 3840 which is a model engineering thread but I've got a dyno up coming so I can uh, I can cut and uh, make up an air adapter for it and then we'll try it try it on air but I just thought this thing was unusual and somebody's idea of uh, you know modern representation of a hero engine which is which is fantastic now I'm not exactly sure how this works but this obviously is free to spin and obviously steam will get transferred from these blocks into this cylinder but how exactly that works I don't know I uh, may well take it apart and have a look because it intrigues me but you can see that the principle of, of how it's supposed to work now I probably won't do uh, anything other than just initially fire to see if we can get this thing to run um, the uh, nuts and bolts that hold it all together are quite rusty obviously they didn't use brass they have steel nuts and bolts by the looks of it so um, they could do with being taken out and replaced uh, and possibly polishing the boiler and the and the and the barrel up but uh, no for, to start with we'll i'll get an air adapter made up for it and we'll see if we can actually get this thing uh spinning Okay, well I've done some work on the little hero engine and I apologise right up front here. I got so engrossed with what I was doing I completely forgot to uh, film it. But I'll describe, it's fairly simple, so I'll describe what basically there is on, on the top part of the, of the engine. So what it is, you've got two bits of threaded brass bar here. And they obviously screw into these blocks. There is a hole drilled up roughly about here, which goes halfway up into the brass bar and there is another hole drilled from this direction that uh, intersects that one and that's the path for the steam or the air to get into the uh, into the barrel here these little screws at the top are simply to stop this thing from rotating there's a smaller hole in the top opposite the large hole and that screw stops this from rotating under vibration I suppose this end is turned down slightly and it goes through a very small ball race and that's really what the problem was. It wasn't turn. It was very stiff to turn when I when I first got it. And uh, so I took this up, took this all apart. And basically the bearings were dry, so I soaked them in some oil for about an hour or so. And now it uh, turns quite freely. So I'm hopeful that that uh, um, this will be this will be okay for running. So I've got it connected up to my little compressor. So we're going to give it a go on air and see what happens. self-starting amazing yeah now it's freed off it runs quite well uh, and it's relatively low pressure that's about 10 psi 
get it to spin like that so hopefully we will do that with, with steam with a bit of that yeah, i won't run it for too long because the compressor is as you heard very loud so yeah there we go um I'm hopeful, I and mean, obviously there's no guarantee that it will run on steam, but you know, I am hopeful, so hopefully uh, we can see that jetting steam out, which would be uh, truly wonderful. Right, let's see if we can get this thing going. Well, we've got steam coming out of it, but uh, obviously not quite enough pressure yet to spin the thing. But, uh, Um, it might be nearly there. Oh, it's so, so close. <laughs> Try again. I think. It's, 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 oh, it's just so very, very close. <laughs> well, it's fun to play with, I'll give it that. Well, that's got to be the longest run so far. <laughs> no, it's just not quite enough, which is kind of annoying, but Well, I don't, maybe I would, maybe I spoke too soon. Well, it's running, yay! <laughs> it's how it does work on Steam, amazing. I was always hopeful it would. <laughs> but one amazing little engine, I hope whoever built this is out there watching this because, it, it, yeah, I don't think it was going to run, I really didn't. I thought it was just not quite enough pressure, but. And what, the water levels obviously dropped a little bit and it's probably freed up a bit as it's been running. Let's change the camera angle a bit. That's actually running very well now. Well, there you go. Scratch built little hero engine running under steam. I don't know what it is about these hero engines that fascinates me, but I really do like them. <laughs> Probably got to do with the oil working its way into the bearings and, and they were quite free when I tried tried running it, but I think they as it's run it's it's worked its way in and they just they've just freed up a lot more. Wonderful little engine.
Yes, definitely running a treat now. Well, I'm glad I persevered with it. I really didn't think it was going to run, but no, we we uh, we got there in the end. Right, I'm going to turn the gas off because the, there's only about 250 millilitres, maybe 300 millilitres of water in the boiler, so... Right, that's the gas off. should imagine it will run down fairly quickly. Yeah, well there you go. Scratch built little hero engine, horizontal version. Uh, running for the very first time since I've uh, acquired it under steam and... Uh, yeah, it took a while, but we got there in the end. So, as always, hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Cheers.